Today, I'm at Long Island Sports Cars in Roslyn, New York to check out the all-new 2022 Aston Martin Vantage Roadster F1 Edition. So, let's go check it out. So here it is, the 2022 Aston Martin Vantage Roadster F1 Edition. One of Aston Martin's most popular and well-known models is the Vantage, which has been a staple of the brand since 2005 and has gone through several iterations with performance upgrades at every turn. The most recent version of the Vantage is the 2022 F1 edition, which is available in coupe or roadster. Designed for improved lap times, this is a regular production model sitting at the top of the Vantage range. It's the fastest and most driver-focused Vantage ever. This car celebrates Aston Martin's return to Formula One racing after more than 60 years. It's also an official Formula One safety car for the 2021 season, sharing duties with the Mercedes-AMG GTR. The 4-liter twin-turbocharged V8 engine now makes 528 horsepower, which is 25 horsepower more than the Vantage AMR and regular Vantage. Torque stays the same at 5 505 pound-feet. Complementing the power boost, the car's 8-speed automatic transmission has been tweaked for quicker shifts. The coupe can reach a top speed of 195 miles per hour, while the Roadster's top speed is rated at 190 miles per hour. 0 to 60 miles per hour for the coupe happens in 3.5 seconds, with the Roadster being 0.1 seconds slower, with a 3.6 second sprint time. Aston Martin's engineers paid special attention to the suspension and steering, so the F1 edition is stiffer and more direct as far as steering response goes, and the rear spring rate and lateral stiffness were also improved for better cornering abilities. Whereas the standard Vantage has 20-inch wheels, the F1 edition sits on 21-inch wheels wrapped in lower-profile tires developed by Pirelli. Rounding up the package is the aero treatment, which includes a rear wing, a new front splitter, extra front dive planes, and underbody turning vanes. All in all, these add-ons contribute to up to 441 pounds of downforce at top speed. The coupe starts at roughly $162,000, which is $20,000 more than the standard Vantage, and the Roadster starts at $170,000. Reviewers say the F1 edition is a far more composed machine than the regular Vantage. The steering feels more direct, and the front tires feel significantly stickier. They also say the F1 edition isn't as laser focused as a 911 GT3 or McLaren 620R, nor is it unruly or unpredictable. Its bespoke Pirelli P0 tires grip hard and then break away progressively as the car edges into playful oversteer. The optional carbon ceramic brakes feel strong and the engine just keeps on pulling when you press the accelerator. As impressive as this car is on the track, it's still a proper road car. The F1 edition is still perfectly comfy with the steering wheel mounted suspension button set to comfort, yet it feels firmer than ever when set to track mode. As you'd imagine with the special edition, you can't get this Aston Martin in any finish you want. It's limited to Aston Martin Racing Green, which we see here, Jet Black, and Lunar White, and these colors are available in matte or gloss. To sum it up, the F1 edition is a car with a stiff and chassis, firmer springs at the back, bigger wheels, a unique aero body kit, and stickier tires. You'll also get loads of downforce, including funky dive planes on the front corners, and a huge rear diffuser, as well as a not-so-subtle rear wing. I'm a huge fan of this car. I wouldn't get it in the Roadster version. I would definitely get the Coupe, just because I think the Coupe makes more sense for this edition, but the Roadster is still an incredible
cool car. I want to know what you guys think of this car and if you'd get the coupe or the roadster. So before we take a look at the interior, let's first take a look at the exterior. So as part of the aero kit, you get this new large front splitter and these canards painted in gloss black. Just like the Vantage AMR, you get these carbon fiber hood vents. But unlike the AMR, the F1 edition does not have a manual transmission. You've got more exposed carbon fiber on the mirror caps and the side vents. You've also got an F1 edition badge on the side of the car. I love how aggressive these vents look. You've got gloss black side skirts, a gloss black rear wing, and a gloss black rear diffuser with Aston Martin racing green inserts. To continue with the black accents, you've got the Aston Martin branding in gloss black and the roll bars in gloss black as well. This isn't exclusive to the F1 edition, but I just wanted to point out this gorgeous looking front grille which you see on a lot of the newer vantages it's simply stunning and it looks so good with the green paint so here's the window sticker like i mentioned it starts at one hundred seventy thousand dollars it has some optional equipment which brings the total price to one hundred eighty thousand dollars but with the market adjustment the selling price is one hundred ninety thousand dollars the options include the aston martin premium audio system which costs two thousand Lime brake calipers, which cost $1,100, the first aid kit, body colored rear diffuser inserts, the touch pad, and the trim inlay in carbon fiber. Now let's take a look at the interior. So the interior is covered in Alcantara and leather with lime green accents and stitching. These seats are very comfortable, more comfortable than the bucket seats in the Porsche GT3. You've got this cool plaque on the door sill with the Aston Martin logo and the F1 logo. This is what the key looks like. You've got two cup holders in the center with an Alcantara console. So you've got a decent amount of storage in here. You've got leather on the upper dashboard and Alcantara on the lower dashboard. Aside from the lime green accents, my favorite part about the interior is definitely the satin carbon fiber trim. I mean, how gorgeous does that look? It really makes the interior feel sporty. There's only 15 miles on this car and it's currently for sale at Long Island Sports Cars. So that was my visit to Long Island Sports Cars in Roslyn, New York. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.